Hey guys, it's Ari. I just thought I would come on and make this video. Since Brittany, if you're in the WhatsApp groups, you know Brittany, Brittany number one. But since she shared her experience, I just want to say this. The same doctor does not have to do everything. Like, if you went to a doctor for removal, he doesn't have to do your reconstruction. He doesn't have to do your lipo. He doesn't have to do your breasts. Like, the majority of these doctors all have their specialty. Meaning, just because he's good at this doesn't mean he's good at that. So, you don't have to go to the same people. I wouldn't. I made that mistake years ago. Like I went to this super popular plastic surgeon. Like he's known for his breasts. Like he's did so many people's breasts. Like really, really great job at breasts. Well, at the time, I also wanted and needed lipo. And I didn't know your stomach was basically four parts. Upper stomach, lower stomach, and then your flanks. Well, this guy only did my only lipo my bottom lower stomach so it was crazy like i would literally lean over and the bottom half of my stomach was flat and then the top half would be spilling over and i'm like oh my god <laughs> who knew like i didn't know at the time but he did my breast great he did everybody else's breast great but clearly he sucked at lipo because why would you just lipo somebody's lower stomach like it, like it didn't make an ounce of sense and it's not like i was awake because i've had awake lipo too and that's basically where you know they can only lipo you based on your size like i think back then i could only get like enough anesthesia for i forgot three or four areas some shit like that but i was completely asleep with this guy like he could have definitely did my damn upper stomach like it was nothing to do like all he had to literally do was just move it up i was already sleeping he didn't so clearly lipo is not his area and it's okay stick to breasts <laughs> but yeah for real don't go to him for life. So my point is, everybody has their thing. Like my doctor, he did my reduction, but I wouldn't go to him for reconstruction. And that's only because I feel he doesn't have the experience with bodies like mine. Um, and what I mean by that is, he's used to working on the women in his country and if you've ever been to Colombia the women are barely five feet like they're they're tiny they're short they're tiny they're small so here I am damn they're six feet 200 pounds maybe 200 and something at that point is he just does not have the experience in my opinion you know it's a different type of skin it's a different type of healing like I'm going to scar different versus somebody else. Like, it's just, it's too many different components. And, um, just no, for me, I wouldn't, uh, removal, re reduction, two thumbs up. Like, I don't think it's anybody better right now doing removal. You know, like, he's really doing what needs to be done in that area but as far as like sculpting or rebuilding no and that's almost what stopped me from going to him to begin with because on his instagram there's nobody i want to look like or there's nobody who i would say okay yeah i want my body like hers like when you're getting a lash tag even nails hair it's typically a picture and you're like, yeah, I want my nails like this. Yes, I want my lashes like this. Yes, I want my hair like that. Like it was no picture on his page that I could have showed him and said, yes, 
like this, you know? So it's just hard. And then there was no black girls on his page at the time. Like, I didn't even see brown girls. Like, I nothing. So if I would have went by that fact alone, I wouldn't even went to him. Because, you know, it's so much that wasn't even, that he did, that I later found out that's not even on his Instagram. And I basically made my decision because of the WhatsApp groups. Like, it's a million and one WhatsApp surgery groups. And... That's basically how I made my conclusion. But if I had to make a decision based off of his Instagram page alone, like, I wouldn't have went to him. Like, nothing's on there. And it's so crazy because a lot of these doctors' best work is not on Instagram. Instagram or their websites. And I think it's an issue with, you know, girls not wanting to share certain stuff or girls not wanting to release their picture or... I don't know, but it truly sucks. I'm very, very grateful for the WhatsApp groups because, like I said, my decision was solely based on the women in that group. They were women who were my size, my color, my, you know, just women that looked similar to me and my size. Like, that that's what really helped me. Because if I had to base it ba based off of his damn Instagram, like I said, I wouldn't have went. And it's unfortunate because I would have missed out. But, like, this is serious. Like, this is your body. This is your life. Like, and this is your money. Like, nobody can just, oh, well, fuck it. I'm going to just wing it or take a chance. Like, no. Take your time with this whole procedure. Because, like I said... I, I you just can't go by one thing like it has to be a whole bunch of factors it has to be a lot of research it, it just the pro whole process took me about two years and I was prepared to wait two more years because I feel like every day you know the, the the techniques or the procedures are just gonna get better and better like what a year or two ago they was just cutting girls across the bud and just leaving it like that like now we have better scars we have flaps um it's just so much so much stuff and we've already come so far in a little amount of time and you know like i said the procedures and everything is just going to get better and better so i was prepared to wait a year or two more just to make sure it was done right just to make sure it was done correctly like i was willing to wait like i just that shit is serious like this is your body and then you know then it was the doctors removing by lipo and we found out that wasn't the way to go so do your research try to get in as many of the uh groups that you can whatsapp groups facebook groups there's even a few instagram groups and um yeah uh, also maybe ask the assistants for additional pictures and videos uh what else and then just trust your gut like your intuition will not lead you wrong i was supposed to go to like five other doctors and each time i was like mm -mm. nope so no i'm gonna just wait i'm gonna wait like i'm not gonna rush this i'm not gonna i'm gonna wait because my mom used to always say, do it right or do it twice. And some girls are on their, like, third, fourth, or fifth surgery. And I'm not blaming them or talking about them, but you have to do your research. And you have to wait. Like, it's okay. Like, don't be, don't be first to go to a doctor. Let a few girls go. See how they turn out. Let them get their MRIs back. Let them, like, it's okay to not be first in this instance. So if y'all have any questions, let me know.